Uh, those that know my video series, they know who I am. For those that don't, I'm Vanessa Howie. <clears throat> and on many of the exercise series, I show you generalized exercises that you can do when it's raining outside or if you don't have a gym membership. Or you're just a little self-conscious to do this in front of other people. <clears throat> and today, I'm doing a series of what could be considered therapeutic exercises. Okay? <clears throat> and since I am not performing them on anybody other than myself. Okay? So, uh, yeah, I'm not, pro I'm not, I don't have someone in here and performing them on that person. I'm doing it on myself. These exercises, I'm going to show you the sheet. Okay, first exercise right there. I mean, yeah, okay. Next one, I know it says exercise five and six. And I'll try to put <clears throat> these descriptions. I'll try to write this in the description. That's another reason that I'm showing this to you is in case I forget to do that. Now this was prescribed to one of my clients, okay? <clears throat> I'm not stating that you have to do every single exercise on here, but this uh, video is for those that have um, shoulder problems. Uh, I have, happen to have a shoulder issue that's right back here, so this will definitely help me. <clears throat> also, um, those that have had shoulder reconstruction. Okay, my father-in-law, he had a reverse total shoulder replacement going on. But I think it was on this shoulder, not on this one. <clears throat> and these helped him out quite a bit. So the first exercise, what I'm going to do first is grab a towel for myself. Folding up a regular kitchen towel. I had one in my uh, soaping area down here. I, and I do the soaping stuff for myself. I mean, if you want to buy it, that's fine. I have no problem with selling it to you, but I don't sell online, really. So, <clears throat> you shove this under the affected arm. And it takes the elbow away from the body. Okay? Really, it helps to focus on specific area in the back that really needs to be targeted. So, <clears throat> what you do is you have the arm here holding onto it. So you don't want slack, you want it to be here at 90 degrees so you don't want to be way up here. And you pull across the body, across the body. I can really feel that. Even with the first few reps, I can really feel that. <clears throat> now on the paper, I believe it says to have it a little further out, but when you first start doing this, this is plenty. You don't have to go super far out there. This is plenty. And this is for the internal rotation. And notice that I have this tubing at elbow height, roughly. Okay. <clears throat> you can put this on most door handles, not like the one where it's a doorknob and you grab it and you have to twist it. Not that type. The type that it comes out from the door and it makes a 90 degree turn and it has a curve or angle handle at the end so that people can grab it, push down, and push away, or grab it, push down, and pull towards them. You can loop it around that and it makes it a lot more user-friendly. I happen to have this partition here, this rectangular partition in my downstairs area, and I said, hmm, I could use that. Okay, I'm gonna move on <coughs> to, I'm gonna actually move the camera so that it's facing the other way. So you're gonna go for a little trip here.
And you get to see my downstairs area here. Woohoo! All right. <coughs> there we go. Good. All right. <coughs> and so what you do on this one is you start here. When you're first beginning, you start here. Okay, so towel still under under that uh, arm. You start in that 90 degree angle like you did on the other side and you push away from you. <clears throat> now when you get better at this and this you feel it but it's not you're not feeling like you know, oh my, oh my gosh, it's not, it's not fatigued enough. Then you step out <clears throat> and allow the arm to come to rest across the body, and then you bring it all the way across, and that 180 degree arc. By doing it here, it's a 90 degree arc, and this is the external rotation. Okay. <clears throat> and on the internal rotation. Um, it's stated on this sheet to do two sets of 30 of each exercise every day. Now, I'm not saying to do that. <clears throat> uh, what I'm saying is do it to your fatigue level. I'm not prescribing that. That's a suggestion, nothing more. Okay? I know I have. The, the, the males, they are, one hand is painted, the other one is not. <laughs> I had a lot going on yesterday and I couldn't finish the other hand. <clears throat> okay, now, for the next one, you may release the towel. Okay, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start off with this, but I'm going to loop my hand through have it like this, okay, just to ensure that, let me actually move that camera a little bit to make sure <clears throat> that there is plenty, there we go, alright, that's much better, just wanted to make sure that when I have length here, I would have plenty of room behind. Now on this one, my arm is starting in a semi-relaxed position. Now the, the tubing is not relaxed like that. It has tension on it to begin with. But the arm is not starting here at the side. It's starting in the front because you're going to be pulling backward. So, <clears throat> so starting here, you're going to bring your elbow past your waist, your back. Squeezing the shoulder blade. So doing that motion right there. Now, some people, when they do this, they will have a tendency to rotate. You don't want to do that. I tell my clients, no, no dancing. You don't want to dance. There's no dancing. <clears throat> Staying upright in your posture. Okay. Now, for the next one, the tubing is going to be behind you. Let me move the camera back, again back to the other side. Good. Yeah, I had to move some shoes out of the way there. All right, this is good. Now, on this one, and the reason I moved you over to this spot was it helps to know where the tubing needs to be placed. <coughs> so, some people will have the tubing here. I say, well, if you have the tubing there, it, this tubing, when you do this motion here, it's going to rub against the arm. And so what I do is I have the tubing here and the affected arm, take the tubing and I tuck it underneath that affected arm. I don't try to move that arm because that arm, it may be a little tender, a little sore, 
it may not want to lift up and over. So you take the tubing and you tuck it underneath. Okay? <clears throat> you grab onto it, and the tubing is placed between your torso and the arm. So it's not going to rub nearly as much. And there's tension on it, there's no slack. You push forward, the palm is going to face the opposite room or when it's in towards your body. Forward. On this one, some people may tend to do this twisting motion here. Don't want to do that. Keep the torso still. Only move the shoulder. Now the reason that this occurs is because the shoulder gets tired. It gets fatigued. It doesn't want to do it. It's sore. It just wants to be left alone. But if you leave it alone, it's going to get even more sore, more tight, and it's going to be even harder for you to move it. So, <clears throat> when doing this, keep the torso still and only move the arm and that shoulder. Nothing else moves. I understand if there's a little bit of movement here like that. Slight rotation, I understand. But I don't want you to be doing this here. None of that. Well, let me rephrase that. That's not what it states on the paper. Okay. <clears throat> the next exercise, I think I'm going to have to uh, go to the wall to do this one. So, I'm going to swing you guys around to the wall. There we go. Now, <clears throat> tilt this up just a little bit. This next exercise... On the paper, it states to hold for 20 seconds, and it's you do this on the affected arm. So, <clears throat> what you do is you start here, your fingertips on the wall, and you walk your hands up the wall. And keep walking, putting yourself up against that wall, walking, walking. If you're able to do it up here, that's fine. If not, whatever level you can do. And hold it for 20 seconds. Just count in your mind. One, two, three, four, five. You do that to 20 or to whatever number is closest to that that you can possibly get. And then guide it down the wall. Let it slide down. The purpose of that exercise is to stretch the areas that you just worked. That's it. If it's painful doing that, then don't go up as high. So if it's too painful to come up here, then come down here. It's okay. Because we want you to feel the stretch happening, but a lot of discomfort is not part of the game. No. Hope you enjoyed it.